Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Peace of Mind. And after agonising last week, because we finished off Rustic, didn't we? And I remember going through what I wanted to do. And now I've started recording this week and I've totally forgotten what I was going to do. So, um, yeah, I was thinking, let's do Britannia because I want the Ring of Magnetization, which is in Britannica as far as I remember. And, um... So yeah, we'll, 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 we'll do Botanica. Let's see how far we can get with that. I vaguely remember thinking maybe we should do Immersive Engineering, but I'm... We'll do Botanica instead. Do something light and frivolous and... Well, it's not exactly light and frivolous, but something something magical. Um, Yes, so that's what we're doing. Um, Quests, we need that. We need Botania. We need this one. Friendly reminder, Britannia is, has one of the best in-game guidebooks of all modded Minecraft. This quest line will give helpful tips here and there, but the Lexica Britannia will be required reading in, to progress in the mod. Go to the Lexicon Index section and use the search tool to quickly find a specific page. That is true, the Lexica Britannia is a really nice um, book. I do like it. So, um, it wants a mystical white flower and it wants floral fertilizer. I have fine, I have floral fertilizer. No, not floral fertilizer. I have the mystical white flower. Um, uh, floral fertilizer, you need dye. We have dye. We must have dye. Okay, let's have a look. We have lots of dye. So then let's put in floral fertilizer, floral, and let's see what we get. Really? That, that works. How much floral fertilizer do we need? Oh, we only need one. And we get 32. Okay. So, Britannia adds 16 mystical flowers throughout the world. You need them all at some point to progress further but the white mystical flower is the most important to get started in Britannia. If you don't feel like exploring the world you can also use floral fertilizer on grass to grow mystical flowers. Pro tip, if after you find one color of mystical flower you can farm it, put it in the crafting table to turn it into a petal then plant the petal on grass. Bone meal the simmering petal to turn it into a tall mystical flower. You need the shares to harvest tall mystical flowers punching it with your hand will not work this is an easy way to get a lot of the same type of mystical flower so um and the petal apothecary apo apo that's the next thing i do know that with batania you do you don't need it but it's very handy to have a flower pouch pouch and that will collect all the flowers for you okay we need uh right clear that so if i put one of those in there i get two gray petals so the flower pouch so you need wool in a hopper configuration and the gray petal and that gives you the flower pouch and what that does is that when you go out Oh, okay. Petal pouch. Was that one of the... Pure Daisy... Dry Manor, Green... Where did that... Modded Minecraft, maybe? No? I have no idea where... Don't know. We'll, we'll find it. See, that's what I'm looking for down here. That's what we're getting to. Uh, back. Okay, but the flower, the flower pouch, as I was explaining, it will hold all of your um, your flowers, and it will also, when you go out and you're collecting, it will um, automatically put them into your pouch. So you will, you know the Batania flowers because they give off little particle effects. I'm just having a look, a look to see if I can find any. 
because I know it's going to make me a liar and I won't be able to find any. But if you're traveling around your world, is these, this is mystical purple, right? You can just about see those little purple um, particles that are coming off it. That is the, um, that's the indication that it's a Britannia flower. So if you ever see those in your world, you just collect them. Because after a while, you will need some or all, because different, um, what's that? Oh, I don't know what that is. Different flowers have different um, properties, and they do different things. You need them for different recipes. So that's home. Let's go home. Oh, look, it's those pixies again. Can we see what mod they're from? Are we going to... I don't think you can come. Oh, it's not. Oh, they won't. They don't keep still long enough. I can't remember what mod it's from. It's not astral sorcery, but um, but yeah, never mind. So those are the mystical flowers from Botania, and as they say, you can put you can put the petals in the ground, and you can bone meal them, and you get more. Of the petals so that's a good thing and then those purple flowers that we collected oh no that should have gone into the flower pouch that's interesting all right let's drop it that is interesting it's supposed to go into the flower pouch unless it's changed but it used to be that, you know, once you broke them, it would go straight into the flower pouch. Okay. That's neither here nor there. What else do we need? Okay, so we want the petal apothe apothecary. Um, it's used to create the various generating and fun functional flora in Britannia. Click the apothecary with a bottle of water. Drop, press Q, a, bo a bucket of water or pipe in water to fill the apothecary to prepare it for use. Then while holding petals, press Q to drop them in the apothecary, and when the recipe is ready, finish by dropping a seed into the apothecary. Yes, that is true, but Tanya does use a lot of seeds. Do we have seeds? We have, okay, we have quite a few. Let's take out a stack. No, I don't want those seeds. What's that? Oh, wheat seed bag. Oh, okay. Let's get a chest. Because we can make that into our Britannia chest. We'll get a diamond one. And is it still night time? Oh, it's daytime now. I was just about to say I'll go and sleep, but of course it's snowing. Okay, we will make out here our Britannia area. Is under here grass? Yes. Okay, we'll make this our Britannia area. Let's go here. We will, we need, let's see, put the floral fertilizer in there, put the bones in there. Uh, seeds. Leave that for now. So what was the next quest? The petal apothecary. All right, we need the pure daisy, which let's um let's get quite a few of those all right so if i turn it into a petal you put the petals in the ground and you know they're there because of the little particles then all right can i use my crafting grid no all right bone meal Where's our, our... No? Oh, there's our petals. And I need shears. Do I have shears? No, I have shears. I just saw them. And the tall flowers, yeah, you get back. Okay, it's giving me back a tall mystical flower. And the tall mystical flower gives you back more petals. So that's how that goes. 
Right, let's get a few more. All right, so we need... Let's have a look. Petal. Apothecary. Oh, you can make them in different colours as well. Okay, we need cobblestone and... Cobblestone, cobblestone slabs. Is cobblestone slabs a Minecraft thing? I mean, like... Is that a vanilla thing? It seems like it isn't. I don't know. Why am I coming inside? I can use the wireless thing. Right, can I do that? I don't have cobblestone slabs. Okay. So we have our petal apothecary. And we will put you down next to the chest. I keep thinking that's an enderman. I, oh, right. Um, we need a bucket of water. So it might be worth putting an infinite water source here. Oh no, it's going to freeze over, isn't it? Oh, good grief. All right, I think I'm going to turn off... I might turn off the, the, um, really? Um, oh, can you use water to collect? I didn't know that. You can use water to collect, um, snowballs. Wow, I did not know that. Okay, today I learned. All right, so the water's in. Um, what do we need? Oh, yeah, we need... Loot chest, claim. Alright, so pure daisy. Generator mana. Let's do the pure daisy first, and then we can look at generating mana. So the pure daisy is one of the most important flowers in Britannia. Placing stone and wood logs in the eight blocks around a pure daisy will purify them into living rock and living wood. This takes about 60 seconds. Living rock and living wood are used in a lot of Britannia mess recipes. So we want one pure daisy and we need, um, and we need two. Okay, so we need four petals which we have and seeds what i like to do is to stand on top of the apothecary and then i know that stuff is going to go in there you go i don't know if you saw as i did it i think i probably did it too fast but um when you put stuff in it will have a little um overlay and it will give you a tick when it's when it's correct uh pure daisy we got that and we got a couple of quests all right so we can claim another pure daisy we got generating mana how did we get generating mana we need an endo flame we haven't done an endo flame yet yeah see it's it's um the water's frozen over. I'm pretty sure I've been able to shift click water into the apothecary before. Maybe um, Botanica default is to throw the water bucket in. But anyway, um, endo flame. How do you make one of those? Endo. Okay, two brown, one red, and one light gray. Um, we don't have any brown, we don't have any red. Okay, can I bone... No, it did say that you could bone meal. You could bone meal um, with floral fertilizer. So let's do that and get some more... Get some more flowers. I don't think it ever gives you a tall one. It will always give you the single flowers. Um, yes. Did we get any brown ones? I don't know. Yes, we did. We did get a brown one and the black one. Oh, there you go. It hit it did put them all into the chair into the pouch. I don't know why it didn't do that. See, now we've all so the only one we don't have is a light grey. I think that's the light grey. Because that's grey, yeah. So we don't have a light grey and we don't have a... That's magenta, isn't it? 
All right, well, let's keep bone mealing. Bone, well, it's not really bone, there's, no, that's not it. Yes, that's the one we need, and we need a light grey, which is that one. Okay. It's not really bone mealing it, but, you know. But I think Britannia will be fun, because I've never really gone into any kind of in-depth with it. I've only ever done the very basics, which is creating a uh, ender flame, producing some mana, and that's pretty much it. So this will be fun to actually go a little deeper. Uh, we didn't need that one. Don't need that one. These two we need. Do we have everything? I think we have everything. I think we have. Yep, yeah, the water's frozen over. But that is annoying. All right, flower pouch. So we need, we needed some brown. We needed some light grey, right? Uh, brown, red, and light grey. All right, brown, red, and light grey. Where's the light grey gone? There. Light grey and brown. It's a pity that um the flower pouch doesn't give, doesn't um hold the petals as well. That would be pretty cool. And we want some seeds. So, two brown, one red, one light grey. There's water in there. So, two brown, one red, one light grey. And now you see there's a check mark. And all you need to do is to throw in the seeds and we got it. So there's our ender flame. Okay, so we get back three from that. Maybe it said it completed because we made a f we made a flower and it couldn't differentiate. I don't know. Um, okay, let's do the mana. No, we can't do mana storage. We need to make the wand of the forest. So you need three living wood twigs and two petals. And the different colours, as far as I know, don't really mean anything. It's just so you can have, you know, something different looking but there's no um there's no real um there's no real advantage to having one color over the other okay so let's put down where's our living our pure daisies we want one here and one there we need where's our thing We need um, some planks. Is that it? I can't tell with this texture pack. And we need some stone, don't we? I think we need stone. It would help if I could spell living. Um, living rock. Yeah, we need stone. So I might put some to smelt as well. Oh, um, we have we have some. I'm going to put some into smelt as well because it's the kind of thing that you need a lot of. All right. So the wood and the rock, you place it in a wing, a ring around the daisy. You'll see the particle effects. You can only put it um, as a single layer. You can't like double up or anything like that. It doesn't work like that. You see the particle effects on it, so it shows that it's working. There is a way to automate it. I don't know how you do it. Uh, do I have an axe? I need an axe. Uh, where is my... Do I not have an axe? I'm pretty sure I did. I'm going to extend this wireless range thing. All right, there's the cable. All right, we have 14 wireless transmitters and we want cable. We have six cable, that's fine. All right, where's our cable? But this is basically, as far as I know, this is how you extend your wireless network. And then you put your wireless dongle thing. Where is it? There it is. 
your wireless transmitter you're supposed to be able to why do you not want to there you go I don't know why it didn't why it didn't want to go all right let's put back the cable or maybe I was right on top of it I don't know there you go so we should be able to use our wireless transmitter out here oh we missed the transformation really okay it's still okay here <laughs> that's literally where i was oh lord okay right um you need a pickaxe for the living rock and you need an axe for the living wood and that's what i went to look for an axe see how you get sidetracked with this thing you know let's move forward a smidge and let's find an axe we've got a diamond paxel which is fine stick that back in and then let's put some more hopefully this time we will be around for the transformation and the rock ah right it only takes about a minute so i'm not going to go off and do anything i will stick around and we can see what's going on never mind the snow going on top and of course now this is going to be like the longest minute of our lives there you go i just heard it pop so there you go and then these should go just now because we put those down after as you can see you get a very nice and it's a very nice building material as well it looks very nice so let's pick those up and that okay so we wanted living wood, living wood twigs actually you know what i want to put out here as well a crafting bench and let's put this here I just like putting them around around here so that we need when we need them they're there okay so we want living wood twigs so traditional recipe two planks give you gives you a twig we want three like that and then two petals and that gives us a ban a wand of the forest and you use this to do lots of it's like a it's like the wrench of Batania. has this frozen over got snow on top of it i'm gonna between episodes i'm going to um I'm going to turn off the seasons because I'm fed up of it anyway. And especially if we're going to do immersive engineering, we need, you know, we need the water and we need, you know, we need stuff. So yeah, I'll have to remember to do that. All right, so we have done the Wonder of the Forest. We get another loot chest. Uh, spreading mana, so we want a mana spreader. And moving mana around from flower to block blocks or vice versa is very important in Britannia. To do this you will need a mana spreader. Use your wand of the forest and shift right click a generating flower then shift right click a mana spreader to transfer the mana from the flower to the spreader. Also you can use your wand of the forest to shift right click the spreader and then shift right click another block to send mana from the spreader to the block. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a faff but basically, because mana is like the RF of um, of Batania, mana spreader, and you just use it to um, get things around where you are. Okay, we're missing a gold. I did not explain that properly at all. I guess I'll do better when I actually show you <laughs> what it does. Alright, where do we want to put... 
I guess we can put if we put our ender flame here and our mana spreader and we put our mana mana the mana pool over here okay we wanted to make a mana spreader right that's that we want that on our hot bar okay and we get three more and we need a mana pool okay and that is with living rock um in a u shape where's our living rock did i put it oh there it is okay um let's put that there we want the mana spreader wander the forest and we want our endo flame where is there's our endo flame uh okay although the endo flames they use coal right and i think you have to use it in that configuration you can set up um you can set up an automatic thing where it would feed coal into your to the endo flames okay let's put Right, we'll put those there put the mana spreader on top so it's going up there let's get some coal I think if you get a block of coal it's more efficient than getting um than getting pieces of coal but basically, for the endo flame, if I remember correctly, you throw the coal and they will they will eat it. Unknown status. All right, so oh, there's the mana spreader. Shift. Now you're going that way. There's, because now it's sending mana that way. We want it to. How do you get it? There's a way to like rotate it and stuff. Okay. That was, because you can. Um. Okay, hold on that's going that way oh yes and when you have when you have the rod of the wand of the forest in your hand you can see the mana okay so this is where it's going let's put down our mana pool no what am i doing wrong there was some i just saw something about binding mode ah okay let's get the lexica britannia which is probably what we should have got in the first place um I know we have one. We have two. We only need one. Hey. Welcome to Britannia. And it gives you lots of really cool stuff. Um Uh okay. There you go. See, this is really cool. Basics and mechanics. So it tells you everything that you need to know about everything. Uh, mana manipulation. Mana pool. All right. Mana spreader. Okay. By holding shift right click, you can rotate. You can... Um, uh, when this block is placed on the ground, so maybe we should have just put it on the ground rather than up in the air. Let's take it down. And let's put it 
on the ground. Okay, so I'm shift. Now it's sending mana that way. See, now it's... No, we don't want to send it that way. We want to send it this way. Is it going? Yes, it's going in. There you go. And then the endo flame and that. Okay, maybe it's not the block of coal. Maybe we do need to actually put in coal rather than a block. All right, let's throw one. Nope. Thought it needed coal. All right, maybe I should read <laughs> rather than <laughs> rather than just guessing. All right, so now it's sending mana. There's nothing in it because nothing is being generated. Uh, Batania. Okay. Bind mode. I doesn't tell you. Holding a wand of the forest. Okay. Right. Let's go back. Um, generating flora. Endo flame. Um, it will absorb combustible items or blocks dropped in the nearby vicinity and burn through them to generate mana. Okay. Um, okay. The endo flame. As the fire would requires dropped items an open crate um, and some sort of limiting mechanism a pressure plate would be ideal for it that tells you how to how to make it but it doesn't say how to set it up a natural apparatus open crate so you use the open crate it's like a dropper and it will drop down all right so basically dropping the coal no it's not what i want to do dropping the coal should have made the endo frame endo flame work ah there you go I had to um right so now that's there so right click the end of flame and right click the mana spreader that was a little too far away there you go not that one right click the end of flame and right click the mana spreader So now they're all connected to the mana spreader. That one has it. Um, that one has it. And that one. Cool. Right, so where's my wand? There's my wand. So now I should be able to see. Right, so now that's sending mana into the mana spreader. And the green bar shows how much mana is in there. The mana is going from the spreader into the pool. And we're getting stuff. Right, so now we're getting mana into the mana pool. I probably should have moved it a little bit closer. 
but there you go. And there are other things you can use. You don't have to use the, the endo flame. The endo flame is quite limited. Because you like they said you can set up the open crate. Let's see what happens. There you go. If we set up the block of coal, does somebody get that? Okay, that's more than enough. So this is filling up. Okay. Right, so we'll leave that for now. That's doing its thing. We have mana being generated. I probably should have moved it a bit closer. But we have mana being generated. It's going into the mana pool. So that is... That's pretty cool. Uh, claim a loot chest. Portable storage. We need to make a mana tablet. A mana diamond. Okay, a mana diamond or a mana pearl. That is basically taking oh we do we have it we have it there you go you take an ender pearl or a diamond and drop it in there you go it says it can do it and that will give you back a mana pearl Is our cro oh god. Okay, tablet, mana tablet. Okay, and then do you drop it in? Nope. Oh, I think there's probably not enough. It needs to be quite full. Okay. Well, we'll leave that for now but we've made the mana tablet now we get another loot chest green pastures pasture seeds are created by topping tall, tall grass into a pass into a mana pool when a pasture seed is placed on dirt it will convert it to grass and spread to ne nearby dirt like wildfire this is much quicker and more fun than watching grass grow normally. You can also convert pasture seeds into five other types of seeds that grow pods or mycelium and more. Can check your lexi lexica to learn more. Okay. Um, we'll make pasture seeds and then I think we will finish for the day. Because we've done quite a bit. Pasture... So you just want grass and a mana pool and pasture seeds. No, it's not what I wanted. Oh, we got grass. Didn't even need to do that. Okay. It says you can plant it on dirt and it makes grass glow, grow. All right. Um, we've got grass blocks. All right, where is our dirt? And we have, where's our pasture seed? Okay, oh, it just makes grass grow on it. I mean, I know that's what they said, but I was expecting you know, like grass grass, like tall grass. Ah, okay. Um Right, let's put let's put these things away then. Can we no we can't reach. Too far away. 
right, let's put our snowballs in there. We probably need to put some more um some more coal in there. But in between episodes, I will work on looking for the best type of mana flower or mana yeah mana yeah what kind of flower that can generate mana okay boreal seeds what do they produce there's only one way to find out Uh, is that a boreal seed? Oh, that makes podzol. Oh, it's turning everything into podzol. That's quite funny. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. We don't need podzol, but that's cool. Okay, let's open our loot chest and then we will be done for today. Alright, what do we get? Uh, quartz, soul sand, and glowstone. Red sand, cactus, and sand. Oh, a light. No, we already have an elytra and doesn't make much difference. Do we have one? We probably do. Potion of swiftness, potion of leaping, and potion of haste. Okay. They're, o they're all okay. Nothing, nothing wonderful. Why did it scatter everything so far away? So yeah, we've started Botanica, functional flowers and all of that. Um, it's going to be fun and we'll learn a lot along the way. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.